Hey, Susu. Hey, girl. What's that? Uh -huh. Say hi. Look, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Like that. Ah, I'm smiling. Like that. 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 Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. by the title of this video I think you already know what we're talking about here today we're gonna be talking about some juggers okay Lizzie why are you like this we're not exactly talking about these but you know we're talking about what they can do so we're talking about breastfeeding today so my breastfeeding journey whoa journey indeed I've had my baby for three months and some weeks now I'm not calculating but y'all know she was born August 16th so ever since then we have been exclusively breastfeeding okay breastfeeding exclusively so I feel like I am capable of doing this video now on Instagram people were asking me to do this video like at month one and two weeks and three weeks and I was like I don't even know what I'm doing so there is no way I am doing this video but now now I feel like you know I have been inside and I can do the video if you guys see me looking at my phone here and there it's because I just wanted to make sure that I'm saying everything that I wanted to touch upon on this video breastfeeding journey now of course everybody's journey is different and yeah 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 however I believe that you can always learn from somebody you know so if you are a mom or a mom to be I'm gonna share with you my breastfeeding journey and I just hope that you know you get something from it but before I get into this video, let me just quickly plug my hair. You know, I love this hair. I'm just loving it so far. The closure, the hair, the curl pattern. I'm loving everything about this hair so far. It was the hair in the last video I posted. It's from Dissor Hair. And I still have a giveaway running on that video. So go check it out if you're interested in winning hair. Some bundles from Dissor Hair. But yeah, I really like this hair. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this hair. It's like, girl, where you get that hair from? Dissor Hair. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to say that because I know that if I don't talk about this now, somebody in the comment section will be like, Lizzie, where is this air from? Even though I have a whole video about it. So now that we have that out of the way, let's keep on talking about juggers and milk. So where do I begin? I feel like my journey actually started when I got pregnant. Now, when I was pregnant, talking to my OBGYN, one of my concerns was spinal cord injury was going to affect me with breastfeeding breast pumping breast production come to find out it affects nothing so i am grateful for that and my injury as you guys know was a c4 c5 in the beginning of course i have regained some more functions but we don't know what the level is right now because i am an incomplete i have sensations feelings everywhere yeah my diagnosis is not for youtube video right now however you guys do know that my initial diagnosis was a C4, C5 and I am able to produce milk and successfully breastfeed. Okay, so talking to my OBGYN, the second thing we kind of discussed was are you going to want to breastfeed or are you going to want to do formula? And I was like, hey, if the milk comes, me, I have no problem. I'm going to give the child the breast milk. Like, that's not a problem with me because if milk comes and the baby latches well, then yes, of course, I would love to give my baby the breast milk because we all know the benefits of breast milk. However, if there's no milk or baby doesn't latch, then I'm not going to kill myself. Formula is okay by me as long as the baby is fed. I am a game like I have said this from day one now I also prayed though I prayed I was like God please help these things to manifest because I know the benefits and I just thought you know it's cheaper let's not forget about that and I just knew that I was gonna be at home with her so why not do you know what I mean so after I decided that I wanted to breastfeed my baby you know I just kind of left it in God's hand and I was like God make it work if it works I'm great if it doesn't work I know you have a better plan and everything will work out we will have the money to buy the formula the baby will take the formula like I just didn't care too much I didn't let it overwhelm me all right now that we got that out of the way I want to say that I'm going to separate this video into about two to three parts so the first part is gonna be breastfeeding direct latching and direct feeding 
of my baby the second part is gonna be pumping and the third part is just gonna be like miscellaneous information that I feel like I should share with you so I'm gonna start with the direct latching and you know direct feeding of the baby that journey began in the hospital if you watch my birth video you would have seen that almost immediately after we had Zuri like she latched on like a pro my baby girl came out hungry okay mama has been feeding her in her stomach so when she came out she was like listen y'all i need some food and the nurse oh god god bless that hospital i just want to say god bless them the nurse over there she was just like yeah let's try and latch the baby on and see how she takes let's see what she does and zuri got on the boob and she was just like like bro i was like man this girl is hungry and she latched on really nicely. Okay, I should backtrack a little bit. You're like, she latched on really nicely. Where did she get the milk from, right? Because that's most very common with a lot of new moms. Like, they have the baby and their milk has not come in yet, no matter what they've done, you know? I didn't do anything special. I'm not even gonna take the credit for that. About like seven months pregnant, I noticed that I started getting milk out of my breast. And I'm doing this face because I just remembered how my husband found out that I had milk in my breast. You know, we were we were having some good good fun one night, and you know, right? And he was like, "What's going?" Okay, let me just not do TMI, but you get the point, right? Y'all get the gist. So that's how he found out that milk came in about like seven months pregnant. I knew already because I mean it's my body and I was like oops milk came in and I know that this was normal. So some pregnant women would get their milk even before they had the baby. It's not the real milk because that milk is just not necessary and please don't pump that milk trying to store it up for your baby. It's not good. It could trigger labor. Don't do that if you're pregnant and you notice that you have your milk come in. It's not good. Do your research. Talk to your OBGYN. Talk to your lactation nurses. Anyways, when I found out that my milk came in, I was like, oh, this must mean that I would be able to breastfeed my baby. And I was excited about it, of course. And I was like, oh God, please let the real milk actually come in once I have the baby. But they will allow you to let the baby latch on and take that first milk in when they're born. So that was what Zuri had the night she was born and even thereafter. Because I don't think the real thick milk came in until like a few maybe the next day or two days later something like that Sha, don't quote me so the hospital when she latched on my boobs was my first experience with breastfeeding and let me tell you guys something it felt so good in a very oh my god i am providing for my child way like she was so relieved she stayed on the breast i just felt like oh god you're so good like for that moment, I was like, God, please let this milk keep coming because I want to do this like for as long as she needs it, you know. And I understand that not every mom is lucky enough to have their baby latch on immediately or even ever. I understand that not every mom is lucky enough to have their milk come in. I understand that not every mom has the time to dedicate to breastfeeding. Time, okay? Time is who cool time, okay? Time. Now, for me, after she latched on the hospital, we just kept on, you know, feeding her every time she would cry in the hospital, put her on the breast. I learned about different positions from the lactation nurses. At the end of the day, I just did what felt right by me. I just had her in the cradle position. They were teaching me the football position. They were teaching me different kind of craziness. And I was like, look, ever since I was young and I was playing mommy and daddy with my doll babies, this is how me, I know to breastfeed a baby. I am not doing no football position because it's not natural <laughs> to me anyway. So I just stuck with what I knew, you know, and that's the position we've been using to breastfeed her ever since she was born and it's been working great for us. In the hospital, I did not go with my boppy pillow and that's a mistake. If you are a mom and you want to breastfeed and you have a boppy pillow, even if you don't have a boppy pillow, go get one, okay? I am not sponsored by boppy. My boppy was actually given to me by a very wonderful friend from my baby registry. So thank you, girl, if you're watching this video. If you don't have a boppy, please get a boppy. Because in the hospital, I didn't go with my boppy pillow. And oh my goodness, y'all, those using pillow and attaching with everything around you is not the same as a boppy pillow. I have heard many people say that the boppy pillow was a lifesaver for them. And some people say that it didn't do anything for them. But for me, when I got back home, 
and I used the boppy pillow, it was like the weight of the world fell off my shoulders. I could relax, I could sit, even the baby felt more comfortable. I could tell that she was able to eat better because the pillow just provided a lot of support, a lot of balance. Maybe it has to do with my balance too, I don't know. But the boppy pillow really helped me. So yeah, I really, really wished I took it to the hospital but we're not gonna dwell on bad things. Basically, Sha, once I got home and I used my boppy pillow, I was really relieved and I was grateful that there was such a thing as the boppy pillow that I could use to breastfeed my baby. So please get a boppy pillow if you're a new mom considering breastfeeding. Before we left the hospital, baby had lost a couple of pounds and thankfully I knew that babies would lose some pounds in the first you know, few days of their lives. So I wasn't really worried. You know, my doctors, my nurses, they all just said, keep feeding her. She should gain the weight back at like her two weeks appointment. So I was like, okay, cool. But they also told me that the baby's stomach is really tiny. Like the stomach when they're born is like this, this big, y'all. It's so tiny. So if you're a new mom and you feel like you should be producing gallons of milk, in the first few weeks of your baby's birth that's unrealistic because even the baby doesn't even need that much because their stomach is so tiny so i think having that knowledge helped me a little bit in the beginning of my breastfeeding journey my doctors told me the lactation nurses told me my nurses told me my big mommy told me i could not stick to like feeding her every three hours or four hours or whatever they said because i just felt like it was unrealistic and my big mommy agreed with me. <laughs> she was like, feed the baby from Alanyo, you know, like give the baby some breast milk. So we gave her breast whenever it looked like she was hungry. And it worked for me because that also helped me to produce more milk because I was telling my body that my baby needed more milk because my baby was drinking more milk. So a lot of people start out their breastfeeding journey with like scheduling. And I feel like that doesn't help with your milk production. Cause you're telling your body that your baby doesn't need this milk until every four hours and then you're not producing as much milk as you could be producing so whenever my baby wanted milk guess what we did we put her to the breast and let her just suck in the beginning like get your feel and then leave the rest i wasn't really pumping until like week number three yeah i didn't even start pumping until week three which i think is recommended anyway don't start pumping immediately but if you See, there are no rules. Don't quote me, but I honestly don't think there are any rules to this thing. I just think you should do what you think works for you and your family and your baby. So basically, after the hospital, it was time to come home and continue our breastfeeding journey. When we got back home from the hospital, my big mommy started giving me pap. If you don't know pap, it is made from corn and it's like a Nigerian meal made from corn and you just drink it and it's somehow supposed to help you produce more breast milk did it work for me honestly speaking i don't know because i started drinking pap literally third day after i had the baby once we got home i was like drinking pap every day for like the next two months i think yeah yeah and i drank the pap i like pap but i have no problems with pap it wasn't like anybody was suffering me I enjoyed it. Matter of fact, at like month one, I started to mix in Milo with my pap. I don't drink sugar with my pap, but that's just my personal preference. It has nothing to do with the potency of the pap and it's creating breast milk. But I drank pap and I had milk, so I can't say it's the pap that gave me milk or not because I would have had to not drink pap for some time to be able to say if pap gave me milk. But people say pap, gives you milk so you know i don't know so for me did pap work mm. did pap not work mm. i don't know but i drank pap and i like pap <laughs> so there's that did i use any other supplements not really in the first month i don't think i did did i did i, did I, did I? when did i start mm. Mm. yeah i don't think i did in the first month but at month two I started to experiment because that was about when I started going crazy in my mind thinking I was not producing enough milk for my baby because she would cry hey Godo crying 
eating again, removing her mouth, crying, removing her mouth, crying. I was like, Jesus, what's happening? Like, I'm feeding you. Are you not getting full? Is the milk not coming out? What's going on? So I started to create all the scenarios in my mind that my baby was suffering. Even though she was having wet diapers, she was pooping, her weight was going up, okay? Just in my head, I had this thing that she was not eating enough and that's why she was always crying. But come to find out, she was just cluster feeding like almost every baby does. Y'all, the moment I found out what cluster feeding was, my life was changed. I was just like, oh, cluster feeding, that's what you're doing. Oh, I can deal with that because once you know it's not your fault that she's doing that, somehow you're just fine. You're just fine. You're like, okay, cool. It's not me. You're just doing what babies do. And so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be here for you. You want this milk? Come get it. You don't want this milk? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it on you. So whenever she would do her cluster feeding thing, we would just find a really cool routine, bounce her around, dance with her, let her do her little baby cuckoo -ness. <laughs> Let her do a little baby latch and release routine and she slips off and we're done. But most moms I found out on Instagram did not even know that cluster feeding was a thing. I'm gonna put cluster feeding definition somewhere on this screen. So read this and tell me if your baby did not fall in this category at some point in your breastfeeding journey. And do you know what? Even bottle feeding babies cluster feed. Boom. Did you even know that? Did you know that? Like, did you know that? Anyways, so, in the midst of me going crazy thinking I wasn't producing enough milk, I discovered that my baby was just cluster feeding and I should not give up on my breastfeeding journey because it got to a point where I really thought I didn't have enough milk and maybe it was time to start supplementing with formula. That is a lie from the devil. <laughs> as long as your baby is latching, your baby poops, your baby pees, and your baby is gaining weight, there is no reason for you to feel like you need to supplement you know <laughs> if you have the time to breastfeed and this so you know what i mean like i don't want to say like oh my gosh formula is bad no formula is good if that's what you have to do go for it but i'm just saying if you are determined to breastfeed and everything is working as it should and the only thing that's trying to discourage you is that you're not producing enough milk don't quit don't quit yet try try to stay calm it's a mind game, I'm telling you, it's a mind game. Stay calm, breathe, do a lot of chest to chest with your baby. Like I do a lot of chest to chest. Hold your baby, smell your baby, oh my God. I don't know what it is. Smell your baby, watch a lot of baby videos. Watch your baby's videos, look at their photos, stare at your baby. Somehow, all these things I'm saying trigger the milk. I'm not playing. I'm not playing it works sometimes I'll be pumping just look at her video of her and my milk would just let down like it just starts flowing and I'm like I love you sorry I love you yeah so it's it's a crazy journey it's a crazy journey of breastfeeding but basically if you are doing this and you feel like you're not producing enough milk don't quit yet just try talk to lactation nurses you know um at some point, I did start eating lactation cookies because I got it for free on Amazon. <laughs> so I got lactation cookies. These are the kind I got on Amazon. And once I tried it, it tasted great. So it wasn't even like I was doing it for lactation. The cookie was really good. So I just started eating it like, if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't help, I don't care. Just like when I was drinking pap, if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't help, I don't really care. And then also on Amazon, I got this lactation drink that my friend actually recommended she was like hey you should do that because like i said there was that point where i really thought i wasn't producing enough milk and i just want to thank everybody oh my god that continued to encourage me to keep on going because i went crazy at some point thinking i didn't have enough milk for this baby and i might just have to formula or something so i want to thank everybody god brought in my life to encourage me to keep on going because more likely than not you will have a lot of discouragement Discouragement. Discouraging? Discourage. Discourages? 
more likely than not the people that will discourage you will be more plenty than those that want to encourage you on your breastfeeding journey so don't listen to that one person that said that one thing about herself or something that said this no look for people that would support you on your decision and i just want to thank people that were in my life that supported me in my decision to breastfeed like i didn't have any solid reason not to breastfeed so i breastfed so i got the lactation cookies and the lactation milk on amazon i really like these two i drink the chocolate milk and i eat the cookies because they taste so good like this has nothing okay this is just because i'm a foodie this has nothing to do with milk i don't even know if they work did anything increase or decrease i don't know i'm not paying attention you know i'm just eating because it tastes good and i'm drinking because it tastes good okay wait let me not be so nonchalant i feel like they work because whenever i do eat the cookie and drink the milk i get fuller really quickly and then i have to pump and then that stuff I pump is what I have in the freezer for when we go out or whenever we just want to bottle feed her. So yeah, I guess the cookie and the milk works, but do I really have any like substantial evidence that they do? No. Don't think I am the best person to say that they help, but a lot of research and a lot of reviews cannot all be lying. So I do think they do something. So if you're just that person that need an extra bit of boost, definitely try all the supplements that they recommend. There's so much. There's fenugreek, there's this, there's that. I don't make anything myself personally. I don't even drink pap anymore. Like once in a while, I still drink my cream of wheat just because I like it. And since I'm talking a lot about food, let me just tell you, food is a huge part for me what i have discovered is like the days where i kind of don't eat right i just notice a decrease in my flow the days when i don't drink water right look look i drink water you guys know i drink water a lot this one is natural so if you're somebody who didn't even like water to begin with it might be a little bit harder but i noticed that eating and drinking water is so so helpful because I just noticed that on the days when I eat right, eat when by right I'm not talking about vegetable and you know, I mean you can eat right if you want. I just mean eat, you know, like chop food where well. <laughs> I'm gonna go on the clean eating, diet eating after I'm ready. Right now I'm really just eating, but I don't eat anything so bad anyway. Like I just eat food. <sighs> Like I said, this is my own journey. I'm not here to teach you how to breastfeed on a healthy diet. I'm just telling you, eat food, because it works for me, and drink water, because it works for me, okay? <laughs> so yes, eat right, drink right, and if you think you have to supplement, go for it, girl. Like, there's nothing saying you shouldn't do it. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But what if it works, you know? I, you never know. Did pop work for me? Mm. Did the milk and the cookies and everything work? Mm. But I enjoyed it. Okay. So now let me get into pumping and I guess from pumping I'll probably still be talking about direct breastfeeding again. At this point now you know that baby girl directly latched, she still does, she gets most of her daily bread, <laughs> daily bread, daily milk, you know what I mean. She gets most of her feeding by direct latching but when we do go out she will bottle feed um, from the milk that I have pumped in the freezer that we thaw out and feed her through her bottle. And shout out to Aeroflow Breast Pumps. That's where I got my pump from. I got the Medela Pump in style pump. It is a dual pump. Like I can pump both of my breasts at the same time with that pump. I really like the pump so far, honestly. And the pump is electrical, so it's not like I'm using all my energy. Fejeron, as my big mommy would say, the pump is really good. I haven't used any other one, so don't ask me, oh, what do you think about some other pump? But the Medela Pump in style pump that I use, that have two you know connection ports i really really like it it will mimic a rhythm that kind of encourages your milk to let down milk let down is when you know the milk really gushes out so i really like my medela pump and i have to say one more time shout out to aeroflow breast pump if you guys are in need of a breast pump and you're in the united states definitely contact them because their service is amazing and you can even get your breast pump free if you have insurance but if you don't have insurance still contact them and see how they can help you so that's that with that the first key the first thing i want to tell anybody that wants to pump is please make sure you have the right shield okay what is a shield you ask me it's that thing at the top that goes directly on your you know <laughs> 
it needs to be the right size if it's not the right size you would think you are not producing enough milk to get something out through your pump I didn't know this until I started doing research myself and then when I did research I realized that the shield that came with my Medela pump even though it was the smallest shield they had from Medela it wasn't my size everybody's nipple is not built the same way so you need to measure your nipple I know it's crazy like we're measuring nipples again but once I got a ruler I know I got a ruler I measured my nipple diameter I know what in the world it's on there on Google. Google how to measure your nipple for the perfect shield. You will find it, I promise you. So once I measured my right, you know, <laughs> I then realized that Medela doesn't even have the right shield for me. So I had to go on Amazon and that was when I found the shield that I am currently using. I'm trying to remember the name of the shield. Good Lord. I'm gonna write it on the screen this is so bad I really want to give them their credit because they are the only company that actually had a shield in my size I don't understand how but that company was the only company that had a shield in my size and once I got the shield in my size you guys pumping became a whole different game for me like milk was just flowing and I was like Amy hey, no is it me that's producing all this milk I, I thought I did not have anything to produce because it was fine baby would eat and she would be full but whenever I went to pump I felt like oh she already joined me so there was nothing left for me to pump but come to find out that with the right shield I had something left in there even after she ate satisfactorily so if you are a breastfeeding mom that still wants to pump and you think that you're not just pumping right it might be the shield you're using so check this shield make sure you get the right one go on Amazon search for the shield that's fits your size after you measure your size and try to get the right shield god i hope i'm saying these things right i just feel like i'm rambling i hope this is helping somebody out there good lord because what point would this video be if i am not being helpful to anybody i wish i could just be like one of those people that's like point number one do this point number two do that i hope in my rambling you guys are getting something that i am saying so basically if you're pumping get the right breast shield Secondly, if you're pumping, massage before <laughs> massage before you pump, okay? It really helps. I noticed that. Thirdly, if you're pumping and you want to pump both breasts together, there is actually a bra you can use. Now, I say that because I recommended that on Instagram before. However, after plenty of consideration, while the bra does help me express my milk when I use it to express together I noticed that it's only getting the top milk out and the bra yes it's hands free and it's great but I don't like it anymore so if you watched my Instagram stories sometime before and you notice that I recommended a bra that makes you pump hands free and all that it's cool you know you can use it it still works my baby crying. My baby is crying. A few moments later. So with that bra, yes, you can use it if you're really that busy that you need to be hands free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's cool. But I don't recommend it anymore to people because I just feel like when you're pumping and you want to get what you're doing and be done quickly, just do it one breast at a time if you can. That's what I started doing now. Do it one breast at a time. Get the thing on there. Massage around it while I'm pumping because I realize that just helps me express more. That encourages milk let down more the milk just comes down more and then i'm done quicker sha i feel lighter quicker and i don't feel so heavy like when i'm just waiting for the pump to do all the work you have to understand that the pump is not like your baby your baby will latch on and then suck 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 suck, suck and before you know it they're like full but with the pump the same time it takes your baby to be full it's not the same time it will take the pump to express your milk out and for you to feel empty i hope that makes sense so yes, there is a bra that I used before that helped me to express both breasts at the same time but I don't recommend it anymore because now I prefer to just express one at a time, massage around while I'm pumping and just be done and be done. And so psh, get the right shirt, it will save you a lot of headache. Imagine if you did not get any push pain from your baby sucking and it was a pump shield that gave you pain. That doesn't make any sense but that was what happened with me. 
So get the right shield and to combat the pain, you just have to let the baby keep sucking. I know it sounds so terrible. It's like, don't stop breastfeeding just because you're hurting or because your nipple cracks or because, you know, you have to let the baby keep sucking the breast. You have to keep pumping. It's painful, but this is the joys of motherhood, okay? This is the hood. You gotta live the hood life. <laughs> Oh, and in the same breast, oh, in the same breast. <laughs> You're talking about breast too much, you start saying breast. Also, in the same breath of like using the right shield, <laughs> the bad shield, okay? If you're using the wrong shield, you will crack your nipple. I didn't experience nipple cracking with my baby latching, but once I started pumping with the wrong shield, hey, Jesus is Lord. What is pain? Pain is a cracked nipple. Pain is a nipple that hurts. But you can use nipple creams. The one I use is the Lassino nipple cream and this thing is like magic, honestly. When I use it, within like hours, I start feeling relieved even. I know, crazy, huh? But it helps, so get you some nipple cream because you will need it. If you are breastfeeding exclusively, you will need it because constantly or constantly pumping will get you, okay? It will get you at some point. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Breast pumping, breast pumping, pump, 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 pump. When we do pump, she drinks from her Komotomo baby bottles. I love the Komotomo baby bottle. <gasps> Should I say that in this video? <laughs> God, I know you guys watched my unboxing videos and you saw all the bottles that we were sent. And I thank all these companies because honestly, I really wanted to use, like, you know, I wanted to have options. But my baby took so well with the Komotomo bottle and whenever I do express my milk and she has to drink, she's drinking from the Komotomo bottle. It is the best. She never got like gassy with that bottle. She was beautiful. She didn't get colicky at all. But yeah, that bottle just worked for us. It's also so pretty. Oh my God, it's so cute. Not sponsored, but they did send me the bottle. Um, I love the Komotomo bottles. I really do. And clearly Zuri loves them as well that's what she she takes the breast milk from we didn't get to try a lot of our other bottles because there was just no need she just loved this one that i was like oh you know what to do now so maybe i'll give away the other bottles hmm let me see i might just do a giveaway because the bottles are from good companies and i store my milk in the kindy pouches and I just want to thank my friend Jessica for recommending the candy pouches because they are amazing. Now, I didn't use any other pouch, but I don't even have to because the candy pouch just works so well. They have a twist cover and that cover keeps the milk locked in and I just store them in the freezer. And then, look, if you are considering breastfeeding, my thing based on my journey that I would say is again, please have time. <laughs> Y'all. I, I, I commend, okay? I commend moms who have to go back to work in like three months or six weeks even after they start their breastfeeding journey because at that six weeks, I don't even know what I was doing at six weeks. I, I was still I was still going crazy thinking that I did not have enough milk for the baby. But I work from home so it's so much easier to have this lifestyle that I'm explaining to you guys. It's like we breastfeed, breastfeed, breastfeed. I pump when I need to. I pump when I want to. I don't have a pumping schedule. I don't pump every two hours, every three hours, every four hours. I just pump when I want to. I pump when I feel like I'll need it the next day or the next week. I really should do better with my pumping but mm, it is what it is. You know, I have I have a little bit in the freezer and that's all I care about. Like I'm not trying to produce milk for the generation. I'm not trying to produce milk for like the world. Just my baby and you know. Three months now, going strong, we're doing great. So I don't think I left anything out in this video. I hope it was um, informed me. I hope you got some information from me. My key points to anybody that wants to breastfeed is go for it and try to have encouraging people around you. Don't let anybody discourage you. Their journey is not your journey. If you want to do it, you have the time and you have figured out a plan, go for it, okay? Even if you're a working mom, you can plan to pump, you can plan to do this and plan to do that and it can work for you. So don't be discouraged, go for it. Just remember, eat right, drink water. By eat right, I mean just eat, okay? Just eat, make sure you're eating. Because if you're not eating, you will not produce as much milk as you can. Eat right, drink water, let your baby suck, because your body can create. If you need milk every hour on the hour, your body will actually give you that milk. If you can get past the first 21 days of breastfeeding, whew, I think you'll be good. Go to hashtag 22 victories and see 
some stories that might encourage you. If you can get past the first 21 days and you get onto day 22, I really think you'll be more encouraged to continue on your journey of breastfeeding. Okie dokie people, I think that's the end of this video. Deuces. I don't know if I did everything right. Okay. Anywho. Yeah, yeah, you see, we call this the Milky Way. What are you doing? Are you shaku shaku and blocking my girl's smile right now? <sighs> so please like, comment, and subscribe to my mommy's channel so she can give me more milk. More breast milk. Oh, thank you, daddy. <laughs> She's smiling at her dad. Y'all go out of my video. Bend down. Say hello to people. Hello to people. What? Really, Yana? Hey, I'm talking about my breastfeeding journey. What do you think about it so far? It's um, baby loves milk. It's been good. It's been I don't good. have to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a milk factory, you guys. Okay, <laughs> let's just put that out there. You cannot be a breastfeeding exclusively mom without feeling like a milk factory at some point in your journey. Baby cries milk. Baby is fussing milk. Cause she just gets so much comfort. Baby won't sleep, milk. Yeah, and that drives her to bed quickly. Ah yeah, did we spoil her? Question for another day, right? <laughs> I don't think she spoiled Jari, I just think it's like, come for it. You know, my heart beat, her chest, her cheek. She just, you just likes... You just like to feel special. I am special. <laughs> like without me, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but it makes, it, you do feel empowered. You feel like you are your baby's source of food. Like that's a huge... No, I have to give you credit though. Oh shit. Thank you. Is that my baby? You wanna come in the video? Cause if you don't come now, they'll be like, where is she? Where is she? Let's show the culprit that is sucking the meat. Mommy, you wanna get into? I'm not dressing well. Just show your face small. <laughs> small, small. Bend, bend small. Hello. There's the breastfeeding baby. Look at don't pull my hair, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you guys a real funny story. So, before I actually had the baby, right? Breastfeeding story. I said to my friends and everybody, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna breastfeed directly because in my mind, of course, I thought that when the baby was sucking, that the sucking would kind of mimic, you know, fun time. <laughs> And I was like, why would I want to breastfeed a baby? Like, I don't want to do that, you know? I was that person, y'all. I was like, uh-uh, I'll just pump and give this baby milk because um, I don't want to think bad, you know, I don't want to think bad thoughts when I'm breastfeeding my baby. And people would tell me, Lizzie, trust me, it's not the same when a baby is sucking, like, stop it. And I was like, until I experience it, me, I don't care. Oh, ah. Until I experience it, I don't know. I'm just gonna pump. So I was ready to pump. They call me shameless, but that's really how I felt. So basically, I convinced myself that breastfeeding directly, having the baby latch on my, you know, mom, mom would arouse me, and I did not want that. So I wanted a pump. And that was my reason for getting the pump initially. I'm confessing. I'm raising my hand up. I'm confessing. However, duh, now that I've been through the journey for three months and some weeks, I'm like, Lizzie, you're crazy. The fact that I thought that, crazy, crazy. It's not the same. Let me just put that out there. It's not the same sensation. It's not the same feeling. Whatever you and your husband do in the room, ain't the same as what the baby's gonna do. Baby just wanna eat, okay? Baby's just trying to get some food. The feeling? No. Nah. 